In this video, we're going to continue our series on Notion. Now, if you're new to Notion or need help getting started, check out my video here or check out the video in the description below. In this video, we're going to talk about relations, rollups, and formulas. Let's get into it. Notion is an all-in-one application to help you get organized in your personal or professional life. My name is Patrick, and this is Everyday Tech, everyday tech for everyday people. In a previous video, we started going over how to set up a database and how to really expand it based on your needs. In this video, we're going to go over more of the advanced features and how we can use multiple databases together. So let's get into a demo. To recap of what we did last time, we created a very simple database database of let's say my youtube channel here and so we created columns as we needed it we expanded this column or this database as we needed it so that's the tip for using notion in general is just use it make it as complicated or as simple as you want it to be but it just expand as you need it so for example i added these columns as we were building this table and then i added these fields the different values in these fields as we needed them as well. So for example, this type here, I only have two types, video and live stream. But later on, let's say I start doing YouTube shorts. And so maybe I want a different type of category there. And then we also started doing that for the statuses here. So maybe I have a different status of, you know, maybe I have a team coming on. And so we're doing different, we need more different statuses for our YouTube videos. After creating our database, then we got into different dashboards or different views for displaying our database. So here we have a custom view. This is a side-by-side -side view of our YouTube database here. And actually I have two different views side-by-side. -side. We have our calendar view here and we have our list view here. And this list view here, we're only showing the different properties that we wanna show. And we're also filtering out things that are not completed or they don't have a date. In order for it to get off this list, they have to be completed and have a date on them. And then now in the calendar view here, we learn that we can interact or change actually the date here, even by dragging and dropping these things here. So there's a lot of useful things we can do as far as viewing our database is concerned to make it more useful for our everyday productivity. In this video, we're gonna go over three new things. We're gonna go over relations, we're gonna go over rollups, and we're gonna go over formulas. In general, relations are kind of the link between two different databases, how they relate to each other. So if you have information from one database, but you wanna put it into another database, there's a way to link them together. And then rollups are just using that link and using the information from one database and putting it into the database you want. So maybe you don't need all the columns from one database, but you really want to grab the columns that you want for your main database here. And then formulas is the way to do calculations on the fields themselves. So let's get into the different things as far as re it relates to relations, rollups, and formulas. In order to have a relation between two databases, you need more than one database, right? So we only have my YouTube database here, but let's say fictitiously I start getting sponsors, which I don't have yet, maybe down the line in the future, but I wanna keep track of the sponsorships I'm having for each video or each live stream. So we're gonna create a sponsors database and we're gonna create, and we're gonna relate that to my YouTube database here. So let's go ahead and add a new page, call this sponsors, and this is gonna be a database table. So I'm going to go ahead and create this database table and then explain to you uh, the scenario that I'm working with here. Okay, so I've created my database here. And just to explain, this is just the company name that's doing the sponsorships. This is the cost per ad. So maybe I have more than one ad slot for them in my show or my video. And this is just the category. This is my for my own use later on. I wanna know how many sponsors were of the service category, et cetera, et cetera. So now let's link this into my YouTube video database. 
So now let's create the link between the two databases. So instead of editing my original YouTube database directly, I'm going to create a new dashboard. That way I can pull in just the fields I need, even on the YouTube database and on the sponsors database, I could just pull in the fields I need there. So let's create a linked table or a linked database here. And we're going to link and bring in our YouTube database. And so we have all these fields, but let's say I only want to know the name and the type. So let's go into properties here. And let's turn off everything else except the type and the name of the video here. So now we have all these things here. So now let's bring in our sponsors area here. So now we're going to go into columns and I'm going to call this sponsor. And we're going to go down here and create a relation. Now we want to select another database that we have here and that's our sponsors, right? So we create the relation. Now we have a way to link the two databases together. So now let's say, uh, let me just start adding some sponsors to some of these. So not all of these will have sponsors, but now this pulls up the list from the sponsors database, right? So this is nice, right? We can build our list of sponsors and have this list grow as that database grows as well. So let's bring in company one and I can have more than one sponsor, but for this scenario, I'm going to do one sponsor for one video and I'll show you why later on once we get into formulas. But here I'm going to create, uh, I'm just going to add different sponsors to different videos here. And again, not all the sponsors or not all the videos will have sponsors, but here we go. Okay, let's say these four videos have sponsors, okay? And I can filter it out if I wanted to, to say uh, these, these videos only show me the videos with sponsors. So let me show you one way that this is useful. Let's say you're in the middle of a live stream and you want to do a sponsor read. You're about to do an ad. And so you wanna pull up that ad. So you, one way to do that is to come to your Notion database and pull up the sponsor right here, and you can go directly to that information for that sponsor. So let's say you have your ad right here, ad information here, or company information here. So you can directly come to that information without really leaving your database or cluttering up your database here. All you have to do is go to that column and you can go to that information directly. So that's one useful way of doing it. Another way we can utilize relations and databases is using something called rollups. Now rollups are something that you can use to grab information from the relational databases, the, the linked databases together, and put it and display it into your view here or your database here, your main database. So let's create a new rollup here. And we're gonna call it this the rollup here. We're not going to name our column yet. We're going to figure out what relation do we need. So first, we need to configure the relation and we're going to choose our sponsors because a database can have multiple relations to multiple databases. So we need to choose that one. So since we only have a sponsors relation, we're choosing the sponsors and we're going to grab the property name or the property that we want to grab. Since the main sponsors column here already has the name, we don't need the name. But let's say we want the category here. So now the category shows up from that database. So we can just rename this to category. Now the other thing that we want to have is the cost per ad unit. So let's create another uh, roll up here. Let's choose our relation, which is our sponsors. Choose the category we want to have, which is cost per ad and then show the original. We can do a number of things. If this had multiple items in there, multiple numbers, we can do the average, we can do all kinds of things. But we're just gonna show just the original and it'll show us the price per ad unit. So we're gonna call it price per ad. So that's one way to bring in the information from another database using the relation feature so let's go ahead and finish our example by reintroducing something called formulas. Now formulas work similarly to Excel formulas where you can do calculations on multiple cells and do calculations based on different scenarios. So our scenario here is we want to be able to calculate the total cost of ads that we made per video. And let's say there can be more than one ad 
uh, per video or live stream here. So in order to get that done, we're gonna create a number column here called number of ads. Make that a number field here. And now we're gonna create a formula that does the price per ad times the number of ads, and this will give us our total price here. Now, before we can do this multiplication formula, back going back to this, remember this is showing original, but when we show original, this acts like a text field. In order to multiply uh, do two different cells, they need to be numbers. So now we need to change this from show original to make to do a sum. And what that does is that converts it into a number and not a text. So you see these ones here that don't have any sponsorships, the price per ad is zero. So it's not gonna cost, or we're not gonna make any money for, of that, out of that, right? And then we have our number of ads. So let's go ahead and set up our form formula. And this will be called total cost. Instead of a text type, we're gonna create a formula here. And we're gonna click on the first cell here to create our formula. And we're gonna use the multiply feature here, okay? And then the multiply takes in any number of fields. So we're gonna go all the way up to our properties here. And what we wanna do is take the price per ad, comma, number of ads, and let's close our parentheses on multiply and click done. Now, right now it shows zero dollars because we don't have any, uh, anything in the number of ads here. But as soon as we update these, see it working? It does the calculations for us. Even if we did one on something that costs zero, right? It's gonna show zero because zero times one is zero, right? So let's do at least one on each one of these and, you'll, and I'll tell you why. As soon as we add in a sponsorship to one of our videos, it automatically creates the total calculation here. Now, the last thing I'll point out is there are formulas that are already built in for tables, and that has to do with this bottom layer here. So let's say we wanted to calculate the total cost we made. We can create something called the sum here, and it already adds all these fields up here. And let's say we go all the way down here. We want to create, let's say, count all. And this just shows us the number of rows that we have. So the different things you can do, there's different things you can do here to make it really useful for your scenario. Now we're really just touching the surface of what we can do with Notion. But again, Notion can be as complicated as we want it to be. Now, if you can think of different scenarios of how you want to use Notion and you're having trouble trying to get it figured out, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll see if I can help you in, the, in all those things. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.